Hello everyone, welcome back to the Geek Plan. I'm Jeff, and uh, we're going to be doing another episode of the Cantina today during the 31 days of Halloween. It's actually one that I found back in September, and I've wanted to try it, so I'm trying it now. And you guys are seeing this during October, because pumpkin beers are for October, right? So uh, this one is from Shipyard. Uh, this is a, it's called Smashed Pumpkin. It was on a bunch of top 10 lists. Um, cans, nothing like really like impressed, nothing, nothing really crazy. Smash Pumpkin, okay, so this is what it is. Smash Pumpkin Season with Shipyard Smash Pumpkin. <laughs> this big bodied beer pours a light copper orange with pleasing aromas of pumpkin, cinnamon, and burnt sugar. Balanced by a mild lingering sweetness and a slightly warm, bitter finish, Smashed Pumpkin is the perfect beer for when the temperature starts to drop to fully enjoy all the flavors. This ale is best drunk at 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. So, autumn beer. Um, it's not autumn outside at the moment. It's still the 70s or whatever, but uh, it's chilly up here in my room, so I guess you know that works. But uh, yeah, I've really wanted to try this one. Like I said, this was on one of the top lists. I don't know why it doesn't like autofocus. There we go. There it is, sort of. Yeah, Smash Pumpkin. It's got the Jack Lantern face on there. Yeah. So, but uh, oh, there was some dirt on there or something. But yeah, that's not that thing's not supposed to be there on the eye. Yeah, smashed pumpkin. Like I said, I really wanted to try this one. It was on a few top 10, top 15 a list for pumpkin beers last year and this year. So uh, let's uh, get this thing out. Yes, I know Jason or and or Tim are not with me than this one, but uh, uh, Jason has been kind of busy. We did get some uh, reviews up for you guys during September. Um, I haven't been with him yet, and I wanted to try this one myself, so I wanted to go ahead and just do this one. During October, I'm going to have a ton of pumpkin beers uh, reviews on the channel, talking about the different ones, and I think at the end of the month, I'm going to talk about which one was my favorite out of all of them. Oh yeah, that's a definitely a different color than any of the ones I've had so far. Like I said, I have a sh Shipyard regular pumpkin ale. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, this one is a absolute different color absolute different color like a burnt orange almost oh that smells amazing that smells really good <sighs> well let's get into this one so uh cheers everyone hope you guys are having a great october so far hmm Okay, this is a pale whole wheat, 9.0 alcohol by volume. Interesting, that's a high alcohol percentage for a pumpkin beer, but it is really good. Uh, on the back it says, um, burnt sugar is in this. I get that taste, um, not in a bad way. It's like a, a baked, Pumpkin good is what it tastes like. Um, you taste that pumpkin, the cinnamon for sure, and that burnt sugar taste. Gives it a very unique flavor. Um, out of all the ones I've tried so far, which so far is only like four or five, uh, this one might be my favorite. I have not tried the Dogfish Head. I haven't tried any of the Southern Tier stuff. I haven't tried the uh, Jolly Pumpkin one I have in there yet either. There's a bunch of them I haven't tried yet. So, Out of the three or four I've tried so far, four or five maybe, this is my favorite so far. I'm guessing they call it Smash Pumpkin because after a few of these, you're going to be smashed because that 9.0 uh, alcohol by volume in this thing. Very good. It is a stronger one. You can definitely tell it's a higher alcohol by volume beer, um, but it, not that it's overpowering with alcohol flavor. Not, not like that even more Cocoa Jesus I had from, uh, I don't remember who that was, but it was not as good because it was very, very strong tasting. But yeah, it's 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 actually it's this is really good. I like this one a lot. If you guys were looking for something different and not the same old pumpkin beer, uh, definitely look for the Shipyard Smashed Pumpkin. 
Um, it's got a really good flavor of pumpkin, a really good flavor of the the, num- the cinnamon and that burnt sugar flavor. It's just a very unique flavor that that creates. But it's definitely a stronger beer for sure. Ooh, yeah, very good, very unique. It's a different one out of all the others so far. Looking forward to trying the rest. And like I said, what I'll do is I'll mark down which ones I like. I'll give scores to the ones at the end, not of these videos, but when I do my list, I will do them in order from uh, however many I try, whether it be eight to 10. I'm probably gonna try like 10 to 15 different pumpkin beers this year. Last year, I didn't get to try any. I went looking for them like late October when they're not available anymore. I'm going to try to post this one as one of the first ones for October. Um, I will let you guys know that if you want to try some pumpkin beers, go at the beginning, first week or two of October. Because once it gets to the end of October, you won't be able to find them anymore. All the winter stuff will already be out on the shelf. I know, it's unfortunate. But the pumpkin beers started appearing like the first or second week of August. So they were already out. That's why I've got a lot of this stuff. Because uh, I'm in looking for it. And I've got a list of some that are in the top 10, top 15, top 20 lists for like the last three years that I'm actually actively looking for. And I have found a couple of them. And this is one of them. This was on a top 10. This is on a top 10 and another top 15 list for this year and for last year. People really saying that it's a really good beer. It's a very unique pumpkin beer. But I really, really like this a lot. So thumbs up for Shipyard's Smashed Pumpkin. I will say this is not a chugging beer. It's a stronger beer. You want to enjoy this one. So I'm not going to chug it before I end because I want to sip it and enjoy it for the rest of the night because it's such a good flavor and you want to enjoy that flavor. So thank you guys for watching this episode of The Cantina. Again, another thumbs up for Shipyard's Smashed Pumpkin. You guys would find that I definitely recommend this one. Um, look for more pumpkin beer reviews during October uh, with me and with Tim and maybe even some other special guests. Who knows? But I appreciate you guys watching this video. Leave a like on the video. We really do appreciate that. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see and you want to see some more, hit that subscribe button for more. And hit the bell for notifications so you can stay up to date on everything we're doing during October, which is going to be all kinds of goodies. Just keep an eye out for it and uh, hope you guys enjoy everything that's, that's being put out for October. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. In the description, also, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, and our Discord. Our Discord continues to grow and grow every single week. The community is getting bigger and bigger over there, so if you guys want to go join in, there are tons of good uh, uh, Discord channels over there. You can join conversations in with memes, general conversations, cantina stuff like talk about beers, about paranormal stuff, talk about Star Wars, anything else. Uh, so you guys can go check that out. And if you want to support the channel to help bring you more of these beer reviews and these better beer reviews, um, uh, the Patreon link is also in the description. You can do it for as little as a dollar a month. And I want to say thank you to all my patrons right now. You guys, your names will be at the bottom right now, or your names will be at the end of the episode at the in the outro video. I'm Jeff. This is the Geek Blender. Remember, if you geek about it, we speak about it. Hope you guys are having a great October. We'll see you in the next video.